Hey everyone, my name's Jess and I'm doing a Masters of Science Communication Outreach at the Australian National University. And today I'm going to show you a bottle rocket. Now this rocket flies with nothing more than a little bit of water and air pressure. Let me show you how it's done. Here's a close up of our bottle rocket. Inside that bottle, there's just a little bit of water to help provide thrust. The bottle is attached by a rubber nozzle to a bike pump which will force air into the bottle, increasing pressure inside. The whole thing is attached to a clothesline which will help it fly straight. Remember, if you're going to do this yourself, that the clothesline has to be pulled taut and securely attached at both ends. Also, don't forget to wear safety glasses. Here's what's happening. The bike pump is forcing more air into the bottle, which is a confined space. This increases the air pressure inside the bottle, and it means the air is squished inside and it's pushing in all directions. If we keep adding air, that pressure gets too much for the bottle to contain, and it shoots out the neck of the bottle. The air pushes the water out of the bottle in one direction, and we know, according to Newton's third law, for every action there is an equal and opposite reaction. So when the water shoots out in that direction, the bottle is forced in the other direction. And this is what makes our bottle rocket fly. 